Perl tutorial part 39 Passing a web form where the method equals get In this tutorial we will pass the form that we created in the previous tutorial After the user has typed in a search term and submitted the form the first thing we do is put in a very special block of code that has been created that has become standard. Now I'll paste that in. That will pass the query data. Basically put it into an array and then put each key value pair into a hash. Now you don't have to copy this block of code as I've got a page on the web where you can copy it from so I'll just pop in the address for that page and that is at scriptsockets.com slash code.php you can just copy that block of code there the next thing to do is to assign our two values from our search form, the search term and the location into variables. So first of all the search term and that comes through from the hash that has been created from the block of code above and that uses our name equals Q. Now the next variable is the location so we'll create a variable for location and that is our name equals L. So we have our two variables search term and location. Now normally in this type of script what would happen next is the script would go into a database and search all the websites and information it has about the search term but since this is just an imaginary search engine Next we're going to just print out what the user has typed and their location and we'll say 100 results have been found and have some imaginary results. So we're going to print out you searched for the location they choose on the form for the search term that they type in. and print out our imaginary results. I'll just pop this down here so it's easier to read. Okay so now it is time to save the script, upload it to your server in ASCII mode and schmod it 755 and come to your form and make sure the action equals attribute is set to the location on your server. Okay so now we come back to our form and the script is uploaded onto the server and we can test out our script here. So let's search for music and we'll search the web and let's press go and here we have our results page you searched web for music 100 results found and here are all our imaginary results now let's try searching New Zealand for travel 
You searched NZ for travel, 100 results found. So that's how we pass our web form using the method equals get. Now, one last thing I would like to point out is the URL and the query string. Now, when you run the script in your browser and you have a look at the address bar in your browser, you will have the address your server com CGI bin the script dot CGI question mark and then Q equals travel and L equals NZ and that's what I mean when I'm talking about the query string and keeping data private or non-private as is the case of when we use method equals get so the information that the user types in when we use method equals get comes out in the query string which is good if we want to create a hardwired URL to a script that searches or does something dynamic and uh, if we want to keep data private then we would use the post method which is also great in its own respect so this is also why I say keep the names short when using method equals get otherwise we get a big long massive URL that when we have quite a few values can get quite ugly so that's how to pass the form where method equals get